Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Mathematical Methods in Elementary Thermodynamics. In elementary thermodynamics, there's essentially three types of mathematical methods that one will be employing. One is that of differential equations, and a differential equation is one involving the infinitesimal change of some physical quantity uh, with respect to sources and sinks represented by positive and negative terms in the equation. So for example we have the change in energy of a system is often given in terms of various thermodynamic quantities. So we have temperature times an infinitesimal change in the entropy minus pressure times a change in the volume. So this is an example of a differential equation. And a second mathematical method is that of partial derivatives. So partial derivative is a type of derivative that you would take of a particular function that is dependent on multiple different parameters, or variables, rather, and you just want to see how that function changes with respect to one of those various uh, those variables. So, for example, here, if I take the partial derivative of the energy with respect to the entropy, and I assume constant volume, then this will be equal to the partial derivative of temperature ds plus the partial derivative of entropy with respect to the pressure and uh, volume term. But since the volume is constant in my assumption, this dv goes to zero, so this entire term goes to zero. And here I see that I'm going to have two partial s's, so I'm left with just temperature. Likewise, I can take the partial derivative of this expression with respect to volume at constant entropy, and I'll see that if the entropy is constant, this term goes away, and dv over dv will be equal to zero, or be equal to one, so I'll be left with negative pressure. So I have dE dS at constant volume is equal to the temperature T, and dE dV at constant entropy will be equal to negative P. And I can use these relationships as well as other relationships derived from other similar equations to derive what are called Maxwell relations in thermodynamics. So a third mathematical method in elementary thermodynamics is known as the line integral. And a line integral is used to calculate a particular type of physical quantity involving these types of graphs, where I have two independent thermodynamic variables, and I have a state of the system at some coordinate x prime, y prime, and I flow along a partic particular trajectory to another coordinate in this phase space, x double prime, y double prime. And if I want to calculate, for example, the change in heat or the amount of work going from this point to this point, I would have to use a line integral. And a line integral would be given in this following form. The change in QC can be defined as the integral a contour or line integral going from this point, let's say point A to point B. So we set those as the limits. And I would be looking at, in terms of the x and y components of this trajectory, the, the integral of some function x, of x and y, dx, plus capital Y, dependent on variables x and y, dy. 
And here I'm splitting up uh, this function in terms of two independent thermodynamic variables. So if I perform this integral property, I can determine properties such as the change in work or heat along this trajectory. Likewise, from point B to point A, in which it's not necessarily uh, the same depending on uh, other constraints in the system. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Mathematical Methods of Elementary Thermodynamics. Thank you.